Bruh. Nope. Nope. So hello what's up guys welcome back to my another video and today in this video I am going to show you one of the best overclocking tricks to increase your device performance without root permissions and all of them are 100% working. In this video I will not show you one not two not three all four tricks to overclock your device to max performance and fourth one is most important one two three are also important for proper lag fix if you will use all these tricks once your gaming lags normal using lags or your device is slow all problems will be fixed permanently link of all these apps will be given in the video so don't ask me for the link so just keep watching this video till the end without skipping any part without any further delay let's start this video number one is free up storage up to 5 gb if you play games like pubg free fire mobile legends call of duty bgmi or any other games your device storage may get filled with junk files which is also called cache Field storage may also be a reason why your games lag. Your device should have at least 5 GB free storage to run your game smoothly. To clean all the cache from your device in one click, you can use Google Files. As you can see, my 4 GB of the storage space is unused. Now I will show you after clean clearing all the cache from Google Files. Just open the app, after that you will get the option of clean, just click on it, then you will get the option of clean junk files, just click on clean and this will remove all the junk files from your device, all the junk files have been removed. After using this app you can just uninstall it because it will also consume your RAM. Number 2 is quick tune up. Quick tune up is used to calibrate phone and boost its performance to make it run faster and smoother. Quick tune up can calibrate your device, all the components like mic, speaker, RAM, room, etc. So just open it. There you will get various options like memory tune up, sensor calibration, display calibration, battery tune up, junk files, delete junk files. At the top, you will get the option of quick tone up. Use this to calibrate all of your components. Just click on it, and calibration of your device will be started. It will consume up to 5 minutes for the first time. You can use it before playing your game.
after that just restart your device as written here and number three is swap no root if your device have only 1 gb 2 gb 3 gb or 4 gb ram with good storage you can create swap file in your device and increase your device virtual ram after increasing your device virtual ram it will consume your storage in return make sure that your device have at least 2 gb of free storage to create swap file to create swap file just open the app they will get a disclaimer just click on agree after that you will get like this interface here you have to type how much MB you want to increase. If you want to increase 1 GB, that means 1024 MB equals to 1 GB. Just open your calculator and calculate 1024 into 2. If you want to increase your device 2 GB virtual RAM. Now we have to increase 2048 MB RAM. So just type here 2084 and click on create swap after that you have to watch a ad just click on watch ad after that you will get a disclaimer when creating the swap file 2048 MB of your storage will be used as I told you before after that creating swap file process will be started this will take up to one minute for 2 gb ram and it will goes on if we, you will increase more ram swap file created successfully 2 gb of swap file have been created in your device in return of 2 gb storage space you can check it in file manager and the last and most important trick is Android system web view settings. We can overclock our device to max performance by changing some settings in Android system web view. It requires root permissions, but I will show you a trick to change Android system web view settings without root. First time on YouTube. First you have to download or update your device Android system web view and download activity launcher. I will give all the links at the end of this video. Don't install it from play store because which I have given is more dead. You will unable to open android system web view settings if you will download it from play store. After downloading just install android system web view. Click on it and click on install. Android system web view have been installed now install activity launcher note don't install it from play store or you will unable to open Android system web view settings and then just click open activity launcher after that search for Android system web view Scroll down there you will get an option of chrome just click on it and again scroll down and search for web view dev tools this is the main setting so just click on it after that you will get an option of flag and experimental set features ahead don't enable anything else which I will not show in this video because this may be dangerous so just scroll down they will get a option of disable GPU restoration just enable it after you get a option of ignore GPU block list also enable this and scroll down And enable this web view Vulkan. Scroll down.
then you will get the option of power scheduler just enable scroll down and then you will get the option of url loader sync enable that and again scroll down at the last you will get the option of optimize early navigation enable this this all settings will boost your gaming performance don't reset flag after applying all these settings after this i recommend you to reboot your device once after that you can enjoy your lag free gaming experience i am sure that after applying all these settings your gaming lags will no more for all the apk links just open my channel and if you want to subscribe my channel you can just subscribe it from here go to video section and you will get a video vivo versus oppo then just cl click on it and open its description scroll down at the last you will get all the links you can download it from here you can download all the apks from here password also given in this description if you like this video just hit that like button and if you want to subscribe then just subscribe it now for more this type of overclocking lag fixing videos so guys till here only for today i will meet you in the next video bye bye